and the shape that the lighter fluid had me in at the time made me go and do the stupid old thing over again. I had to give it one more change, you know. And then after done that, I got away again. I didn't get caught. What I was getting, you know, going to tell you. And then this guy come to my mother, no, my father, he was drunk, and we lived at Seth at this time. It's up a road here at Mount Racine. And uh, he was on whiskey, and he was drunk. And he asked me to drive for him. I was sniffing gasoline in a pop can. R.C. can in the hell in my lungs. <sighs> like I was sniffing it. He has a fifth of hundred proof whiskey. And uh, she told him, said, uh, the old man ain't here today. Talking about he was wanting to see my dad. And she said, he's gone somewhere. He ain't here today. And uh, Mommy said, uh, don't you go nowhere for him. Said he's drinking. I said, don't tell me what to do. I said, Mommy, I know what I'm doing. She said, Jesse, you'll probably wreck and get killed or end up in jail. I said, don't go. And I wouldn't listen to her. So I went anyway. And he said, would you drive for me? He said, I don't want to lose my operators. I said, well, sure. What's a friend for? You give me a fifth of liquor drink. Sure to God, I'm going to drive for you. And I was sniffing gasoline this can, but I was young and didn't realize it either because I was wild too at the time. He had a 73 Impala Chevrolet. And I just pulled out of that yard, buddy, a doing donuts like a wild man. Put it down in first slow gear and jumped the railroad track was in front of our house with it. His head was a flopping like this. And I had it all the way to Florida and took him uh, across the Wims Mountain in it. 70 mile an hour. I don't know how we got off the mountain around the curves. I guess the Lord was with us too. And we'd go around that curves and it sounded like the untouchable car. The wheels would squall on it and stuff. And he was just head a flop and we both was drunker than dogs. Couldn't hold our head up. Got down there to Gordon. And uh, before we got to Gordon, I mean, when we got into Gordon, we was a flying. I say I was doing seven near, maybe 75 mile an hour. And I was drunk, and I was young at the time, and I didn't care if I did live or die, or, or for nobody. And he was in there with me, and he was drunk, too, and his head was flopping like this. So I had the car all the way down, all it go, you know, up to 70. And we hit this man's fence, and I talked about maybe eight or nine feet of his fence out in his paper box. It was hung up in front of the car. I went all the way across the road sideways, down nose dive down in the river and hit a big rock like that. His head hit the dash and said, where are we at? I said, you're in the damn river. Where do you think you at? The state police comes and gets us out of the car. Lays me down on the ground. They put a sheet over me because I had wet and stuff all over me. And they, the guest thought I was dead because that car looked like it was tore up pretty bad in the front. And uh, they got him for... Uh, giving the liquor to a miner or something far as that goes. But anyway, he lost his operators and had to pay a fine, and I went to Spencer State Hospital over it, as far as I can remember. And uh, I got there, Spencer, and I stayed a month and got out 30 days for the crime that I done. And all they got me for is reckless driving, driving without any operators, and driving drunk. And they mostly got him for letting a young person like me under the steering wheel to start with, and I was pretty well lit on the liquor and huffing that gas the same time, man. I seen two highways, so I just cut out in another road, and that's when we blacked out and wrecked. And the car looked badly tore all to pieces. Looked like, you know, somebody got killed in it, but we didn't. We just, you know, got out alive. Okay, here we go. trooper, you know. Took the right arm. Took me around a corner. He ran a little bit. Last thing I knew, I was in the Boone County Jail. Well, he sent me for the judge instead of been around the ring. So he sent me up to a little place called Prudy County. That's West Virginia and Dutch School for Boys. When I got that, I heard it in a chest. Man, it took me all day to get the room sick. Well, they sent me to the state hospital to take a bath. Sent me on a chair and began to squeak. First bath I ever had ever since I fell in Bandy Town Creek. Now, here we go, bear with me. Said, I stand on a corner, don't no harm. Don't come at her. Goes 
the band. <laughs> Last thing I know, I'm a Boone County Jet. Well, the semi photo jobs that have been around and around. Here I go back up to Prunny Town. Shackles are rattling, fantastic. Yeah. Well, they sent me to the dormitory to make it my home. That's where they kept all the boys. Hung my head and began to cry. Said to myself, I just had to cry. I was informed I had to learn. I did not have to see the superintendent turn. That's all. Thank you.